on the first episode of Dr. Cliff Worldwide Vet. After a busy day settling in in Kingston, Dr. Cliff and the team were hoping for a day to relax, but the JSPCA had other plans. Wendy, a little puppy who had been viciously attacked by a bigger dog, was carried into the JSPCA and her life hangs in the balance. Everyone will have to work together fast if this poor little puppy will ever walk again. You are watching Dr. Cliff Worldwide Vet. Welcome to Jamaica. So we got a little Wendy here. Wendy is, uh, we kind of joke that she's a purebred mongrel, looks like. Uh, just kind of a mixed dog. Not sure how old she is, um, but she was unfortunately attacked by a pit bull. She came in in lateral recumbency, so lying down on her side, unable to stand, extremely weak. Um, just got to the JSPCA and I was thrown in instantly to a dog that got bit by a pit bull and she just told me to, she was like, oh, you're a tech, go start this. And I was like, oh, okay, like. Okay, you want that tech? Yes. Uh, pardon me? Who do I, do you want me to do TPR and stuff? No, what you're gonna do? I'm just coming in, being yes. attacked by a pit bull. Okay. What you're gonna do? You're gonna check him through. We're gonna check temperature, fecal, we're gonna check his, his vitals. Yes. Remember, your ABCs, all of those things. Okay. All yours. All right, go outside and wait. Please, sir. All right, good. So, I've been watching her yesterday. I got a stethoscope in the car. Yeah, anyway, stethoscope. Do you want to go to the thermometer? My stethoscope's in the bag, and we have a thermometer, too. I just checked. No, not bad. A little bit more pain, but that's fine. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're not bad. It's not just a dog in our eye. So, it was a pit bull. Like pit bull bite? What about A? Oh, alright. So I quickly checked its uh, capillary refill times, so basically to see how quickly the blood refills in its mouth, if it was dehydrated, listened to the heart rate, got the temperature. Uh, his color is still good, his cap refill time is still good. He's clearly lethargic, whether it's due to shock or pain, a little bit of everything, right? So you saw some wounds on the other side? Yeah, well I saw some, like, some red spots. That's true. That's So right now, Dr. Clint was just checking to see if his reflexes are good, see if there's any sort of spinal or neurological damage. There's some sort of like hemostat I can crank down on those toes. While we're waiting, just checking localized. So my big worry is that this pit bull is grabbing by the neck, choking, and done some major spinal trauma. He's very weak and obviously you know, laterally recumbent, and while we can't squeeze hard enough to get a true response, normally we expect something, you know, where you squeeze the nail bed, and he has to scream. So the, the mistake that some people will make is if you squeeze a, uh, a toe and he pulls, they go, yeah, he feels it. No, there's a reflex arc here. It's just like hitting the, hitting the knee and the foot goes out. That is irrespective of what's going on here. So you can have a fully severed spine here, and you hit the knee, and the foot still works because of that reflex arc is intact. So pulling is not a response, that's a reflex. A response is him screaming. That's the only thing we can do. So our biggest concern right now is that there's some sort of neurological deficits, um, paralyzing. So we're not exactly sure right now the extent of that. Rather, not that I want to scream, but I'd rather be screaming. Sorry, sweetie. Oh. I didn't even look. Yeah, we're 
Sorry, Wendy. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Michonne, is this the one around the back? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, all right, take the temperature ready. Yeah, we're easy. Temperature was? 40.4. Or oh, Celsius. Celsius. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Do I check out the speaker? Yes, we got a good light response. People can switch. Very, very well. Alright. Yes, we could have grabbed some gloves. Gloves, huh? I'm going to go quickly talk to Pam and sort of see what, what our options are. I'll probably want like this. Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah. Focus for me. Can switch. Oh, it's kind of a time. I'm so sorry about that. Is he gonna suture all of them, or is he gonna leave some of them? Like some of them are really tiny, like like those yeah. ones. Yeah, I don't know. So many. This poor thing. Poor thing. And it is a puppy. He has all of his baby teeth. When we first started shaving her, we noticed that there's a lot more bite wounds, and they're actually really close to her jug and like her her neck area, which was kind of worrisome because if it got really close or it did hit the jug, she probably would have bled out. I guess we still. It's going through, I'm going to advance it, it goes in like butter, cold okay. off, and put this in, and it should be filled with blood. We're right now, we're going to give her some fluids, um, kind of get her blood pressure back up. We've given her some drugs for the pain and for the shock. Uh, we'll get her on some antibiotics just to protect her. So all these bite wounds are going to heal through granulation, so scar tissue. So at this point we don't need yet to seal them up, though we do have to worry about like hookworm, which is kind of like maggots getting in there. So we'll have to talk to them about that. I'm going to steal and use our clippers to check for dead space. Do you know what dead space is? Like the, the air? Uh, so, yeah, essentially. So the worry about these types of wounds is the dog can grab the skin and pull it and tear the lining inside the skin that's attaching it to the fat. It would be kind of like if this was the skin mm -hmm. and you do that. And now you have space there and it's negative space. It wants to go back in, but it's dead space and it's a serious threat of infection. And you basically, uh, crap. So you basically take a probe like a car malt and you're able to bring it. You should not be able to do that. And this is a common problem with even a single bite when it's a big dog, little dog scenario. You get a lot of maggots in there? You can, yeah. We have to be pragmatic here though. Our bigger worry is whether or not there is an intact uh, spinal cord, if it's, been, if it's been damaged, if it's been torn. Um, and if that's the case, this dog's not going to be walking again in a few days. Yeah, so that's the big one. Um, you can you can drop it a good two and a half okay. inches inside. And it got steroids, did it? Yeah. It did, yeah. How are we gonna stop like? Uh, uh, um, he decided to admit it. And I'm, I'm an evil. I don't want to admit it because So do I leave them in the hands of these guys until someone comes and gets her? Or? Michelle and Shama will finish her up and clean and dress. Okay. Perfect. And then Perfect. We slow down. She could slow down on her trip now. She's had one. She's had uh, a good bolus. She's there. had a good bolus, yeah. yeah. It wasn't as fast as I want. Let's uh oh, so Wendy's doing a little bit better, definitely not out of the woods, but kind of on the right path. Um, her temperature has gone down back to a normal level, her heart rate's a little bit more stable, her breathing's slower, which is excellent. So she's clearly in a lot less pain. Most importantly, she passed all of her pain response tests and neurologically she's a lot more stable. We were really worried about some serious damage to the spinal cord as some of these bigger dogs will grab and shake um, and damage those, almost dislocate all those vertebrae. But uh, she seems to be responding great as far as that's concerned. Um, she's got a lot of wounds along her neck, a lot of what's called dead space where the skin has been pulled away from the fat. Um, the largest one being about a two inch, two and a half inch kind of a deep pocket 
but that's not the most important thing right now. Um, the most important thing is that we get her more stable. We've confirmed also that she does not have parvovirus and she does not have coronavirus. So the plan is we're going to give her 24 hours here at the SBCA hospital. They're going to continue to give her fluids. They're going to clean and dress the wound, protect it with purple spray to make sure that the uh, flies don't lay eggs and create uh, maggot wounds and maggot infections. And we'll come and check up on her tomorrow. Maybe if she's doing uh, much better and the wounds indicate that we need to put in some drains, we can consider it. But she's not in any sort of uh, uh, space where she can actually have an anesthesia right now unless it's an absolute emergency, which it is not. So her prognosis before was, was guarded at best. Um, it's still guarded, but we're going to say it's a little bit uh, closer to the good side, which is excellent. The team's been fantastic. Uh, Pam Lawson here has been fantastic. So uh, I know the care she's going to get is uh, is great. And now it's kind of up to up to her and up to a lot of TLC and, and some luck as well. But she's at least on her way. So you know, Dr. Cliff gave us a bunch of prep saying that as soon as we got there, we'd pretty much be thrown into everything. But in all honesty, I didn't expect to literally be thrown into a situation as soon as we walked through the doors. That was intense. It was really, really intense. I did not expect that. I hope she does OK. Oh. Stop! Huh? <laughs> 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 uh, what happened? He was like, I think we're forgetting something. And we were just talking about how he always misplaces his stethoscope. And he looked at me and he was like, My stethoscope! <laughs> he ran. Always. Alright, uh, so let's continue the interview. Up, yeah. Did you huh? get that no, on tape? No, let's wait on him. Let's wait on him. Did you get that on tape? Yeah. <laughs> but in his face? My stethoscope! It was, it was, in her words, it was a mutt. But so it was like just a mixed breed of sort of. It wasn't. It was. It belonged to somebody at one point in time, I think. Actually, she's coming home with us. She's coming home for the night. No, is she actually. Yeah. You didn't with think her. I actually well, forgot so, like, my stethoscope, swollen. did you? Oh my god! Is she swollen? Well, this is the best. Well, probably because she's like in her mouth. Oh well, the end of the jaw, because that's where she got tore up. Hi. Are you coming oh, home with us? She does so great. Go hang out with Julia. Cliff. I know. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. You get to come home with us. You get to come home with us. This is awesome. Yeah. Can we keep her too? Just for one night. No, no. Forever? No, she has an owner. I need some light. Somewhere? Need light? Yeah. yeah. This show's never done being filmed. Can you see it? I'll go grab those tweezers. Yeah, uh, are you grabbing tweezers? Do you want me to grab tweezers? So that's in one of the bite wounds, right? Yeah. yeah. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'll kind of well, invert there's it. One, there's one. I'll kind of invert it. And, uh, and maybe put them in the water. I'll kind of invert it and they'll all kind of go bleh and just pop out. Oh, it's Once okay, Wendy. Tweezers. That's why she was scratching so much at her right ear. What about he? Oh, what about this one? Are there any in there? Oh, it's really wet though. It's probably oozing. Your tools, sir. You have a nail file. Why do I need a nail file? Would we? We're. Oh, no, it's okay. Worries. It's okay, Wendy. It's okay. It's okay, boo boos. It's okay. Shh. Still it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Can you see it? Nope. Yep. Yeah, wow. It's Ew. okay, Wendy. I know, I know, I know, I know. Shh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Okay. Brandon, you want to hold the phone, please? For the light? Oh, the light. Oh, the light. Why don't we bring her in the house? Yeah, I don't know why we didn't. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's bring her into the, uh... Sorry. Whoever I hit. It's not much room in there. Let's bring her into the upstairs one. The guys one. Come on, bathroom. We'll put her in the bathroom. Okay, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think I left the toilet paper out there, so. Uh, I'm there's toilet paper right here. Sure, uh, you. Okay, shh. Make sure, thank you. We just get it back. Non stop fun. That was I know, I'm sorry, a sorry. real shock when I found that. There's nothing in there now that I can see, but it will become a problem. So we'll have to make sure they spray her up tomorrow, treat her properly. Sneakishly underneath the kitchen looking for scraps. Oh, good yeah, girl. I did. Oh, actually, she, she stuck her head inside my bag and tried to go after my sandwich. Nice. <laughs> so well, she's feeling better. She's going to be going home today, so we're not going to, probably not going to see much of her after today. But we're going to clean her ear first, though. Plenty, I'm sure they're going to take care of her. Yeah, plenty of other, uh, plenty of other dogs like Wendy to take care of in the next few weeks. Ain't hey, beautiful? Mm -hmm. oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So today I'll put the wound powder in there. Okay. So the wound powder stops the flies from laying eggs, right? Antibiotics? Antibiotics? Good girl. So Wendy did a lot better than uh, than we certainly uh, than we certainly expected. Uh, after a while, after the meds started to kick in, her temperature came back down to normal. Her breathing rate slowed. Her heart rate came back down to normal. Her color looked better. Um, the biggest thing, we sort of had two diseases or two concerns we, we, we were worried about. All those bites on her neck uh, had opened up a lot of wounds and potentially had done some damage to the spine, to the neck and to the, to the lower spine. Because these big, big dogs just shake them, shake them, shake them and cause almost like a whiplash. But she actually started to regain consistent pain response in all four of her limbs, which is fantastic. So we could kind of put that set aside and say, all right, we don't have to worry about the neurological system anymore. The other issue though was, and I had missed this on the initial uh, sort of report, hey buddy, I had missed this on the original uh, report, was that the dog had a bit of vomiting and a bit of uh, soft stool. So we were worried about parvovirus. Uh, we ran a test, parvovirus negative, coronavirus negative, so another thing that we don't have to worry about. So now we're basically just dealing with some severe soft tissue uh, trauma. She's not out of the woods yet, but she's kind of on the right path to, to getting there. And uh, they've cleaned and dressed her wounds. They're keeping her on the fluids, keeping, uh, keeping her getting some pain medication. And they've treated the wounds with some uh, maggot powder and some purple spray, which is kind of like an antiseptic to make sure that the maggots don't lay eggs. We're gonna come and check up on her uh, possibly late tonight and certainly uh, tomorrow and we'll see if she needs surgery on those wounds or not. But uh, her prognosis is definitely a lot better than it used to be. The team, uh, the team did great. The team here that came with me helped a lot and the team at the SBCA kind of put up with us uh, learning as we go. 
Welcome to the JSPCA. This is what it's like every day here, I think, for them. So uh, they're, they're amazing heroes. Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Cliff here, and I want to thank you all for watching our videos. Be sure to share with your friends and post any comments or questions you may have. You can keep track of us on Instagram and Twitter, and be sure to join our Facebook page. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time. I'm gonna miss you, sweetie.